again because I mean I don't have any other Macs in my house besides I mean this Mac Mini from 2005 but I'm not you think you could edit on this in 2023 let's find out welcome back to tech world I actually can't believe it's been a year and a half since I originally reviewed this Mac Mini like time literally just disappeared so here we are to review it again um, except for this time, there's a couple things I want to do specifically. Last time I couldn't get the internet to work, so basically all I did was movies. That's probably gonna be a big project on its own, but then two, I wanna see if I can edit something on there. Maybe not a whole video, but I wanna try to edit something on the computer. So, let's get started. Let's go first pull it out. Okay, so I got it all plugged in and everything. It took a minute, but this power supply, the cord is really, really old. So even me holding this, it could shut off the computer right now. I don't know why I'm holding it, but it's really finicky. So the computer just keeps shutting off and not wanting to turn on sometimes. So I have to unplug it uh, from the wall, plug it back in. Sometimes it works. So it could be just shutting off randomly in the video. Who knows? Look at how many cords this is using. So it's got the one that powers this computer. Then we got the ethernet. Then we got VGA that goes to the monitor. And then we got a mouse and a keyboard, and then we got the speakers. That is literally all the ports except for FireWire filled. That is crazy. And then we're not even talking about the ethernet plugged in, and then we have the monitor plugged in. And so I have so many cords, and I need an extension cord to go over all the way to the other side of the room. And we are booting up, let's go. The fish have popped out. I love how they use this wallpaper, it's pretty cool. Oh, we have the Terminator in. I didn't, that, that was in the computer that whole time, that's so funny. So it's using a 1.42 gigahertz PowerPC G4 processor and it's 512 millibytes of RAM. So this is basically like really low specs. It's kind of funny, but it still runs macOS just fine. macOS Tiger. So apparently this ethernet one that I originally had it plugged into, it, the cord has been cut from where our router is. So we can't use this one. So I'm gonna have to get an even longer one because we just had a small one just to connect right here. I'm gonna have to get a bigger one and we're gonna connect one that's on the other side of the room. So we're gonna have two cords stretching off to the other side of the room just for this one computer. I mean, it isn't like that bad. It just goes from there all the way over here, but still that cord and that one, all just for this computer right now. It looks kind of like my MacBook has a, an external monitor, except for that one's like 15 years older than this. And it definitely doesn't look different. After a few minutes of lots of trial and error, we turned it all on. It, the ethernet should have theoretically been working, but it, we were kept going through the internet things and it wasn't exactly working. It was saying we were plugged into the ethernet, but we weren't getting any internet access. We weren't sure why it was doing that. At some point, we were going through it, and my Wi-Fi popped up, which my whole thing was with my video I'd posted last year. I didn't think I could do Wi-Fi. Maybe I should do a little more research. Um, 2022 Riker was kind of dumb, so I guess he was like 16 back then. Yeah, he's definitely really dumb. Um, I thought airport just meant you had to have an airport router for it to work. No, it could just be any Wi-Fi router as far as I'm aware. And so we connected to our Wi-Fi and it worked just fine. We didn't even need the ethernet. We tried to search up Safari and apple.com looks like a nightmare. We try to go to YouTube, but it, we need to update. So basically all you can do really do with the internet right now is you can search up like uh, something like how tall is Mount Everest and it will pop up, but you know websites I don't think necessarily work besides like apple.com, but it looks like a mess. Okay, so I tried and tried. I plugged in my phone to the Mac, to, was looking through iTunes, Finder, whatever. I couldn't find that the Mac had registered that my phone was connected anywhere. So my thought was, this iPhone's too new, what could I do here? So then I thought, let's pull out the big guns, the original iPhone. Let's see if we can connect to this. Obviously I can't record videos on this, so I won't be able to edit, but if we can connect to this, I'm gonna try to push my luck and see if we can connect to the 3GS, maybe record a video and see if we can do it through the 3GS, but first we're gonna try the original iPhone. So far things are going good. After this iPhone got done boot looping, this scared me first of all. Um, it gives me error pop up saying I need to update to iTunes 8.2, but I had, didn't need to, to export the photos. The photos exported like this, the shoes one exported. It's the only one I have in my iMovie project. Anyway, I'm gonna unplug this now. I'm gonna plug into 3GS. It's probably gonna start boot looping and it's gonna be a whole thing again. But then we can try to get videos onto this computer and we can maybe edit a, a video on here. Okay, the 3GS is now all charged up. I'm gonna try to record a video and send it to the Mac and we can try to edit it. Okay, I have officially edited this video. It's Pretty basic. I was trying to mess around with the audio, but there was no, there's not very many good sound effects and stuff, but I think what we have is pretty good anyway. Turn the volume here because it's kind of quiet. Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech World. Today I'm going to be living with the iPhone 3GS for an entire week. Just kidding, I could never do that. This phone is way too old. 
I just want to test this to put it in a YouTube video to see if I can edit it in an iMovie clip. If not, that kind of sucks. We're testing it right now. Anyway, please like, comment, and subscribe, and peace out. Oh, I probably should cut off the end. Boom, do you see that? I always end my videos for ends peace just out. like that. I always end my videos like that. Just like this. I'm about to end my video right now. Anyway, um, I think this was a fun little challenge uh, with this little Mac Mini here. Oh, it's kind of warm at the bottom, weirdly enough. Uh, I better take out Terminator before it gets stuck in there forever when I forget about this for a year. This was a fun experiment today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as I did. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and peace out.